Today I want to show you how to use our plugin to convert spline to arcs or to a P line. So you have to download the software from our website and after you download the software and you can use uh, an install into the your machine and then you can use AutoCAD command upper load and click contents here to add the command add the plugin into your machine here so this is actually then the version that we have for AutoCAD if you want to have an early version please let us know and once you have loaded the AutoCAD into your machine then you have five days to uh, try the software so and then you have two commands here so curve to arcs or to curve to a p-line here these two commands here so we just show you here then curve to arcs here and after you issue the command here you have to give them the tolerance now we can give them the tolerance with 0 0.08 and then you have to uh, select in the uh, curve here so and we'll show you here select one curve and this is actually a curve a spline and then you hit the return here and they will convert for you and then you can continue selection select then the other uh, curve for example this one here and hit return or you want to uh, select the whole uh, many curve here even though selection you just select in this one here and then they will do it for you here so you can see here and this is actually then the convert result here so if you click here then they become arc here this is actually and you have to exit the commands here and then you can see then this is actually then the arc here and this is the old arc go show you the property here you see here this is arc here so and it depends on the tolerance you give then you can uh, get a different results here so and this is actually oh, arc here so one thing I need to mention is that if the curve is a line here and then they will not touch it here so if you have a straight line then it will remain a straight line now you have uh, we delete all of them here so and basically you can select one by one or you can select then the window selection here and then you can uh, have, have this again here so I just want to show you here again and this is actually the the spline here so general spline here and and then now we want to convert the spline into a P line here, so a polyline. So you just use command curve to a P line here, hit return, and then they will ask you the 0 0.08 is the tolerance that you have previously given. So you give them, then you can just accept that, hit return, and then you can just hit select, and then they will continue select. You can continue select others here, right? Or you can just use a uh, window selection here window select here to, to and then they will convert then the spline into p line here again if it is line here we don't do anything so and then you just exit the commands here now you see here and this is actually uh, this is the result here this is all p line here right so you see here and just one minute here okay move here and then again to move this one here to another here okay good and then i can show you again here and this is actually then the the p line here so if you issue the command again curve to a p line and then they will tolerance here you just give them the, the 
one you use one here and you see here the converting tolerance is one and then you click here and they will do it for you and we just uh, click here you see here no this is actually okay you see here this is actually the the, the, the p line that you have generated and this is actually using high tolerance here so it depends on the tolerance you use and they will give you different results it's up to you here if you want to have a few uh, polyline point here then you have to give a larger uh, tolerance same as arc here, right so if you want to have a, a few arcs here and then you're going to give them the uh, large tolerance of the arc segment I should say uh, is the results totally depends on the tolerance that you have given and we check then make sure that then the convert uh, curve here within the tolerance uh, you mean to be appro approximated by the arcs or by then the uh, p line here so and here is then uh, the result and I'll show you here if you want to uh, if you have other question here, then please let, let us know and we will help you. Thank you. Bye.